everyone, welcome to another video from the Children's Museum of New Hampshire. My name is Meredith, and today I'm sharing a really quick, easy, fun science experiment with you today. Um, there are a lot of science experiments out there that involve oil and water and how they don't mix and lots of different things you can do um, using those two substances. Uh, so this one I love because you get to see that effect, see them not mixing. Um, also look at some color mixing with this experiment and it's basically mess free. So that's a, a bonus. Um, so today we are making these um, color mixing oil and water sensory bottles, um, which are really, really neat. And these are fun to make and you can do um, a lot of different kind of science fun with them. So what you want to find is some kind of jar or container. It does not have to be glass. This happened to be what I had. But if you have some kind of plastic container that has a lid that can screw on, that works too. Something as small as a spice bottle, a spice container would work too. It doesn't matter what size it is. Um, as long as you have some kind of container and you want that lid to screw on really nice and tight. You can also find some duct tape if you want to um, make that lid especially secure. Maybe you have some very young scientists at home. Then you want to find, uh, this is just water, and this is vegetable oil. And you wanna make sure you get the big jug of inexpensive vegetable oil. The more yellow it is, the better. This one is actually a little bit light, um, but Pretty sure it'll still work. Um, you want to get the one that's as yellow as possible. Make sure it's vegetable oil. And then you want to find either red or blue food coloring. So the first thing you're going to do is have your jar and you're going to pour water in roughly halfway. Roughly half of your jar filled with water. And then you want to fill the rest with your vegetable oil. Whoa, that was measured nicely. Okay, so <laughs> you are going to do the rest with your vegetable oil and invite your young scientists to take a look. They will notice that the oil and the water do not want to mix. If you want to throw a fancy scientific word in here, these two substances are emissible, which is what I tell my young scientists at the museum. Emissible means that they never, ever, 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 ever want to mix. Basically, our water molecules and our oil molecules are so different, they can't interact with each other at all. They always want to be separate. We also notice here that the oil is sitting on top of the water. This has to do with the density. Basically, water weighs more than oil, so the oil is able to happily float on top of that water. The next step is to take either your blue or your red food coloring and do a few drops in there. Let's do three. I did four. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to control. And this is really neat to watch. Um, food coloring is made of mostly water. So when it drops into the oil, we see that there are these little dots that just float in the oil in perfect circles. They stay that way because they are water floating in oil. Eventually they'll pop through and make their way down to the water. If we wanted to dye the oil, we'd have to get special oil-based food coloring. So this food coloring is only going to color the water portion of our jar. So we'll put that over there, wait for those guys to make their way through. And in the meantime, we can screw on our cap. So once your oil and water, um, your food coloring has made its way down to the water, this is when you can start experimenting with your bottle. So what I like about this is it can be used in a couple different ways. You can use it as kind of a calming um, sensory bottle. Who doesn't need a little help being calm these days? And you can just um, watch it kind of move around and watch how that oil and water really does not want to mix. Um, it's really, really very soothing to watch those move um, back and forth. The other thing you can do, because we have yellow oil and blue food coloring, two of our 
primary colors, when we shake this, really, really, really mix it up, we should get green. I haven't practiced this. So I'm going to vigorously shake my jar. Another reason you might opt for plastic if you have it. Really shake my jar. And we see, oh, it didn't quite work. It's kind of a, a light greeny blue. So that's why you wanna get your vegetable oil that is very, very yellow. Mine was not quite yellow enough, I guess. Although it does have a green tint to it. And then what's fun with this is that you can watch it, it'll separate. Again, if we leave it still for a while, it'll separate back um, into its oil and water sections. So if you wanna talk about color mixing, make sure you have oil that's yellow enough, um, <laughs> you can talk about primary colors and how they make secondary colors. Um, some of our red, oh, there's another one. Our red food coloring has made its way down to the water. So we will try mixing this one and see if our yellow and red will give us orange. Again, the only vegetable oil I had, not quite yellow enough for the uh, desired effect, but it's still fun to shake and then let them separate again. So we're gonna shake this guy up. Ooh, this one worked a bit better. And we do kind of get orange with this one. When we shake up that red and yellow, we do get orange. Hi, my dog. So uh, we noticed this guy's already separating again. It has kind of an ombre look. We have the um, oil and some oily water mix and some water on the bottom. So there are lots of different things you can do with this experiment. I hope you have fun creating some oil and water sensory bottles. This would be a great one to practice some observations, some scientific thinking and planning. Um, you could have a sheet where they draw what it looks like with just water and oil. You could draw what it looks like when that food coloring is going down, what it looks like when you shake it, and then you could time, you know, two minutes after we shook it and three minutes after we shook it, here's what it looks like. So have a great time with this. Um, I hope you enjoy making these sensory bottles. They do look really, really cool. And um, check in, we are trying to get some videos out all the time, so check in and keep enjoying our videos. Thank you so much for supporting us during this time, and I will see you again soon.